Mm -hmm. Speed. They, they put pressure on the speed. Rivers. Speed. Fast and elusive. And, you know, they use them for return games. They use them to block punts. Uh, they're all over the field. They're faster than everybody out there. Uh, they have playmaking ability, so they have that competitive character that they want to make the impact play of the game. Uh, and you combine those two things, watch out. Do you like the more traditional offense this week? Will the pace of the game be more to your liking as opposed to maybe some of that bring up stuff? Well, the pressure is off me for one cigar because uh, in the spread, that's that's uh, something that they, they key off of is the defensive ends. And uh, luckily, we uh, we can just get in our stances and just play ball, play off our keys. And, you know, it's hard-nosed football. That's what that's what a pro-style uh, pro offense is, and they're coming straight at you, and it's all about who can come off the ball the quickest and who can hit the hardest. So we'll see. As you took a step up from the Montana game with Cincinnati, and now moving to Florida, it's another step up. How do you feel like you guys will react, and what do you guys have to do to kind of contain those fast running backs for the half? Well, um, we're going to break them down just like we did Cincinnati and, you know, uh, really emphasize, you know, getting to the ball and keeping those backs contained just like we did in uh, the Cincinnati game. That was our game plan to keep that quarterback contained and in the pocket and force him to make long throws and uh, just getting better. You know, that's that's one goal that we we see, I mean, that that we set, set out for ourselves every week is just continue to get better. Like all our mistakes, let's minimize them to where there's zero, you know? And I mean, if you have zero mistakes, that's a perfect game and that's what we're looking forward to doing. And hopefully we can make that happen. You talked earlier about uh, not having a lot to go on with Florida, especially offensively. Does that mean you're going to have to probably go back further to some older film on Charlie and, and their defense too? Well, I mean, yeah, but who, you know, we don't know what they're going to do. I mean, yeah, we did all that in the off season, like everybody else does, but I don't know how much it matters. I mean, look at, we look at Florida film, we look at Texas film, we look, I mean, you know, you watch it till you're blue in the face. And then at the end of the day, you go out there and they do something totally different. You got to play. Is it advantageous at all that they run a pro style, kind of like you guys run a pro style instead of the spread attacks that you've seen the first two weeks? Well, they got some guys, though, that can hurt you. I, I mean, there's no advantage, you know. I mean, they have really good coaching, and they have playmakers. So if they ran spread, I'd be nervous. They run pro style, I'm nervous. If they ran wishbone, I'd be really concerned. <laughs> if they ran the wing T, because we don't see that very often, I'd be nervous. So. I don't think there's a scheme out there where we say we're in great shape. Eric, what you've seen out of Michael from we, the we look at their guys and their coaches, and we go, you know, they got good players and good coaching. So, what's their scheme? In terms of getting to the, the punter, I know you got the inexperience there. Is there anything yeah. you can do to simulate all that speed they have coming up? There? No, you can't simulate the speed, and that's what gets you. Uh, and usually, it's a, you're a little bit lazy, and you have a little breakdown in a technique or a fundamental and their athleticism exposes you. So uh, the most important thing you can do is align right, do your technique perfectly, and your eye control is perfect, and you execute it the way you've been coached to do. And if you do that, you, you'll be okay. Um, but they prey on a little breakdown here and there, and they, and they torch you with it. They've been doing it for a long time, but they do it on all phases. Their punt game's hard to defend. Their kickoff return game is just juice central back there. Their kickoff coverage unit, I mean, they're just flying by you. It's hard. And, and so they're getting short fields. They win in the vertical field position game every game. And I think that, that has contributed to their success as much as anything over the last five years. And it's something nobody really talks about.